now batting for the Chicago White Sox. Up now the center fielder. The White Sox losing last night. Now in game two of this three game set. They can even up the series with a win against Boston. Well, they're going to need to get back in gear because they have not played well the last few weeks. Just two and eight in their last ten games. Well, they're going to be keeping an eye on Pierre right now, Gary. And Euclidus will try and hold him close to the bag. And bingo, just like that, it is three to nothing. Wow, a three run shot. The first runs we've gotten on the board. He swings now and really hit that. Off the wall. Euclidus headed for third. He stops at third. A triple, two down. So a runner in scoring position. Here's Mike Cameron. He's picked up five hits and 19 lifetime ABs off Mark Burley. Swing and a drive, deep left center. And Lowe's on his way home. And he's in there. And Steve, this one turns into a nice one-run RBI. And we're going to see Scudero here. Well, Steve, they've got plenty of time in this ball game, and what you got to do is peck away at that lead in the yard. He sends this one in the air towards center. And there's the third out. Now their center fielder at the plate. He homered earlier in the ball game. Well, with this advantage right now, he's been a major contributor offensively and driving in runs, and then obviously the home run production, getting a pitch that he could drive out of the ballpark, putting some good swings on it. Now Martinez spots the pitch. Fly ball deep left, but it'll end up in the seats foul. John Lackey delivers the strike. He's in charge. 0 and 2. Well, he was way behind on that one. Must have been looking for something else. A smash to first. Over to second for one. Back to first. Not in time. 1 and 2 won't get him. He makes a nice play to get the lead runner at second base with a strong, accurate throw. Good footwork. They just couldn't get the double play. One down, runner at first. And the first pitch. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And he gets the force in second. That is a tremendous defensive effort. One down. Here's Kevin Euclid. Burley with a delivery. Hit in the air to center field. Two down. At the plate for the Boston Red Sox. Stepping up to the plate for the now their rookie center fielder. Center One for two in the ball game. It's nice to have a bat like this in the lineup because as you're going through the game, you know you've got a chance to score runs every time he comes to the plate. Hits it out of the ballpark. He's driving the ball. He's doing a little bit of everything. First pitch on the way. Lackey's pitch swung on and missed. 0-1. Well, listen, the one thing with a good sinker ball, a pitcher can be aggressive, and he's aggressive with his. He really could be a one-pitch pitcher with, just with this sinker. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. Daniel Byard's going to be pitching as they make the pitching swap. Well, they had to go to the bullpen much earlier than they anticipated, but the starter wasn't getting it done, and you can't let this game get away from you. And Beckham's in the box. He has not hit well in this particular matchup. Only 136 against Boston. Starts him off with one in there for a strike. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. 
This one towards Drew. He's taking charge, puts it away. Stepping Two outs now. Those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead attack. Here's the pitch. There's a swing towards the hole. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. They've not a lot of lefties who necessarily want to go the other way. Great job on that at bat. Exceptional. Went with where the ball was pitched. He fought it off inside and drove it. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Fastball is high. 1-0. Well, they really didn't want to face Mark Tian under these circumstances. Well, no place to put him. They're going to have to pitch to him, and he could hurt him. Big chance for RBIs here. And that is in there, the go-ahead run on board. And they bring him home. Up to the a big two-out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. And it's Mark Kotze in the box now. What they want to do now, get this ball game tied up and then try and take it from there. Defense having a tough time stopping the puncher. Oh, oh, Gary, that hit right there could prove to be a key at bat in this game. They've just narrowed the deficit. That was a big one. And what you've done is you've put a little question mark in the opponent's mind here. All of a sudden, it's not their game. Good oh, eye there by Mike Kotze. Lays off. It's even. Oh, Gary, as you said, that pressure is the thing right now. You've applied that pressure. The pressure's still on. In the Up the middle. Now their center fielder at the plate had a base hit his last time up. Well, they're trailing in this one, but not because of his at-bats. I mean, he's driven in runs, obviously hit the home run as well. So they're trailing, but not because of his production. Runners at first stand third with two away. First pitch. That one swung on its line. And that one to fall in, and the run will score. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. Spins, checks him at second. Trying to keep him close. He's back on the bag. Two men on and two men out. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Checks him at second. Oh, he had to stretch that one out, but he got back in there. Strike well, Barr goes right at him. That's strike two. Well, the hitter dug himself a pretty deep hole right here. Let's see if he can battle himself on it. On the way. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Now batting for the Chicago White Now their center fielder at the plate. And an RBI single his last time to the plate. Runner at first with one down. Here's the first pitch. He fouls that one off. Here's the delivery. And another foul ball. That swung on line towards the gap in left center. It's up against the wall on a bounce. Danerko's heading for third. And he ends up at second. That's a double. Oh, with that big hit right there, he only needs a triple to complete the cycle. But hey, that's the toughest one to get. Let's see if he can do it. Runners on second and third, one down. And the first pitch. Fastball taken high, 1-0. Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. The 1-0 pitch. Strike one. That one swung on and missed by Gordon Beckham, and that strike evens it up. Yeah. 
The 1-1. One, one. That's it. Pretty well down the line in the left. This one to Ellsbury. That Erko is going to try and score here. Now back for the Chicago White Sox. Kevin and it's going to be Ramon Ramirez on the mound. He'll be the reliever for the Red Sox. John, he gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? When you can bring an arm like Ramon Ramirez is in in the middle innings, you know you have a very good bullpen. Here's a guy that throws a fastball in the low to mid 90s. He has a great changeup and a great breaking ball. And the fact that he doesn't give up a lot of walks means to tell you that he's not afraid to throw it in the strike zone. Ground ball to short. Scooter rope. Throws the first side is retired. Man, they couldn't do a thing to stop me. Four hits today. That's how you take it to the pitcher. 